If you would like to be on the Mike and Athena Live, go to our website, centralvalleytalk.com, and click I'd like to be a guest, and uh, we'll see. We'll get you on as a guest, especially if you have a cool business, such as our next guest does, Tom Filer yep. with Math Crazy. Now, you are crazy about math. We absolutely are. We've been doing this for over 25 years, mm -hmm. and we think math is absolutely the best. Yeah. Should it be so hard? No, it shouldn't be, and that's the problem for a lot of people. It's, you talk to them, it's the worst part of their whole day is, is the hour that they have to be in a math class, and, and that's, you know, we, we think there's a remedy for that, and we think it's called math crazy. Yeah. Now, you are, uh, you, you tutor, that's what you do, right? Mm -hmm. That's what and, we do. And you're out in Madera Ranchos. We have so many friends out in Madera Ranchos. Where, where just on that main street? There? We're on the main street. We're right next to the library there, kind of the... It's the I never know what that street's called. You just drive... It's there. Avenue 12. Avenue 12, that's right. Avenue I thought it had another name when it went there. Now, are you kind of close to the college, too? Um, yeah, close to the college, just down, just, uh, just east of the college. Right there on Avenue 12, right by the high school. And now, who are you getting school? in there from? That junior high, high school, or college? Or Everyone. You, you do know, college also? Oh, yeah. We do a lot of college during the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the afternoon and evening, uh, a lot of our high school and junior high and elementary students. Now, how often do they come there? Every day or once a week? Or? Um, it's, it's up to you. We, we have an initial interview that we do with you and kind of an evaluation that we can put you through. Most of our clients will come twice a week. Our lessons last 55 minutes. Oh. And they're private, they're one-to-one. One-on-one. -one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking is when our kids were in high school, I had to every day learn their math Yeah. To after my whole day at work and then sit through with them. I mean, it would probably be faster and more efficient to let the tutor help them with their right. math homework. You don't do it for them like sometimes the parents no. do. We just kind of, fine, I'll just complete it for you real quick. You, you have them do it and they learn the concept. So there's a couple things, yeah. So you touched on, you know, a lot of people will just hire the person down the street. And that's fine, mm -hmm. but what will happen is is that that person, because they don't know how to teach it, right. they don't know the common core that's being taught, and they don't know the way the teacher's being taught, yeah. they're going to either teach it their way or they're not even going to teach it at all. They're going to say, you know, here's the answer. Right. And right. so what you're going to get with Math Crazy is someone that's up on the way the schools are teaching yeah. it, up on the common core, and who's trained to actually be a tutor. So it, it has changed has it changed how the schools teach it? Oh yeah, I don't even know what Common Core means. So Common Core is relatively new, and if you have a if you have an elementary school or a high school or a junior higher, you know all about the Common Core. It's a whole new curriculum that's come in recently. Uh, it's got a lot of people upset. It's mm -hmm. highly controversial, um, but it is a different way to do the same thing, which is to educate. And so if you're not up on the Common Core, um, you could. You know, you could sit down with your child at night and you're saying, well, this is the way they taught me 30 years ago. Yep. And then your child's saying, but you're confusing me because that's not the way I'm learning it in school. And so it really does pay to get someone who's up on that. So instead of 20 or 30,000 parents going out and learning the common core way, why not just let math crazy learn it? It's the way you guys do. It's easier for the child. It's mm -hmm. easier for the parent. Mm -hmm. um, I've, we've, my wife and I have raised two daughters and I tell the parents, you know, if, if all you could, you know, if all you do is be an awesome parent and a mentor, uh, without trying to also be their educator, yeah. you know, that's a, that's more than enough. Right. Now, um, math. I mean, what you learn today, you need to know that to learn tomorrow's lesson, the next day's lesson, the next day's lesson. And I see that happen so many times with kids that they just miss one little chunk. Like if they're out yeah. sick for a week, school, yeah. it's so hard to catch up. It is. And math is what we call it's the stair step. So stair it's step. kind of relating to that one. So if your bottom two steps are not solidly in place, you're, you know, the upper steps can be well built, mm -hmm. but they're all going to come crumbling down. Which is which is kind of gets me back to one of the things that you get at Math Crazy is when you first come on your first lesson is we do an evaluation. Mm -hmm. We find out Where you that are. you know maybe you didn't learn something, right. maybe you learned it and forgot it. It, it doesn't matter. Or maybe but, one term you had a bad teacher, you didn't get this thing, and everything else is stair steps on that. So when you come for tutoring, we're not going to just help you with your homework, mm -hmm. but we're going to we make a binder for you mm -hmm. based on the results of your evaluation. It has your name on it, mm -hmm. so it's your you know your binder. We're going to go back and hit your the things that you're working on. And then we're also going to help you uh, study for an exam. And we're going to show you how we would study for an exam. And the reason why we do that is because so often in the schools, they don't teach that. Not for yeah. the math test. Right. You know, the math test is just the math test is on Friday. Goodbye and good luck. Right. And so we'll show them and we'll, how we would study for the math test and get them ready for it. So. Now, um, I guess students come. They don't come there because they're excelling in math, but they're, they're struggling. 
And what do any of them have success stories? Like they well, end up being math scholars? I'm going to correct you because it's called math crazy for a mm -hmm. reason. One is because a lot of our students, probably a third, if you ask them what the grade they're getting in class, they're getting an A, mm. but they're bored in the class because they're just super mathematically oriented. Yeah. And so for them, um, they'll come because we can give them much, you know, a much more uh, math is so much more than they really have time for in school. So we're able to expand on their math education and then take them ahead if they want. But yeah, you're right. Two thirds of the people that are coming to Math Crazy at least came in the beginning because they were struggling. Sure. Well, I'll tell you when I was in college, I bet I took algebra four times. <laughs> I just, and I'm a math guy. Yeah. I just could, it's so boring. I just could, I'd be, you know, reading a book or doing something else and yep. you miss the concept, you can't go on. And, yep. you know, it just was so boring. And I wish they had like an accelerated class or something. Yep. It would just challenge, challenge, challenge. But do any of your, you know, like what I was asking is, do any of the students end up so into math that they pursue that? Absolutely. What, can I give you a really yeah, quick that's story? Yeah, so happy and proud. So we, uh, this is one of my, in fact, this gal for a living owned another tutoring center that was reading based yeah but she heard of math crazy and so i went to tutor her daughter well it was an it was their adopted daughter mm -hmm. they only had the one child and she was very spoiled mm -hmm. dad was a doctor mm -hmm. and she was just extremely spoiled they didn't tell her i was coming uh. so i get to the house and of course she locks herself in the bathroom oh my goodness <laughs> and true story so we're knocking we're, the dad's there where the mom's there i'm there we're all knocking on the on you know open the door come on you know and finally, the dad gets super upset. He, he jimmies the door open. Oh as soon as we get the door open, what we see is her two feet crawling out this small window oh that God. leads to the front of the house. Isn't math great? And now she's walking down the street. So the mom and the dad and I all get in the car, uh -huh. and we drive, And we're, she's walking down the street. We're driving like two miles an hour mm -hmm. to keep up with her. Yeah. And the, the mom is like, get in the car, get in the car. So what we finally agreed on was that if she would get in the car, there would be no lesson for today, mm -hmm. but that um, you, she would actually come and meet me, and possibly we would set up another lesson at another time. Now, long story short, so I actually ended up coming back and tutoring her, um, got her through the class. She turned out to be brilliant mathematically. Mm -hmm. I ran into the mom at Macy's probably, I'm going to say, six or seven years later, uh, and she said, do you know what my daughter's doing today? She is a math major. At uh, um, she's actually going to Berkeley, Berkeley right. and interestingly enough, and so um, I said to the mom, I said, "Do you remember that very first day yeah. I came?" And she said, "Oh yes." Yeah. And I said, "If I would have said to you that day that what we have here is a math major at Berkeley on our hands, yeah. what would you have said to me?" And she laughed and laughed and said, yeah. "You're crazy. That's just not going to happen." Math crazy, absolutely. Yeah. Now, one thing that drives me crazy is when I hear adults say. I don't know why they're making my kids do this. They'll never use this when they grow up. Absolutely. Great problem. So it's called the math curse. I math tell curse. people that, that don't like math mm -hmm. that those are the people that will actually end up having math somewhere in their career. Yep. And so, and then the other thing too is, is that, you know, maybe you never will use the math. Maybe you'll never use the algebra, the geometry, the trig that you learn. The point is, is that you got into a four-year school, mm -hmm. you graduated, yeah. and you were able to then do the thing that you want to do. I tell my students this. My goal is one. I want to run into you at the mall five years from now. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to ask you one question. Not do you use math, but do you enjoy getting up Monday morning and going to work? Do you love what you do for a living? Because if you do, then we won. Yep. And if you don't, then we lost. Well, in I have a couple businesses. One is a real estate business. And in real estate, you only need to know how to multiply times 6%. Okay. Because that's your commission. So I okay. do that like that. But the other thing I got into when I got into some more complex real estate was I had to do proportions. So I mm -hmm. was drawing houses, and I needed to do it smaller. And you do this thing X over Y, and you flip one over mm -hmm. or something like that. And, you know, I had to do a lot of research to remember that. But yeah, That's had to the math, math curse. That's the math curse. You probably didn't like it. Again, you didn't really like okay. it. But here you are in a career. How many years down the road? And if I had come to you and said, look, you're, you're actually going to make a dollar from this yep. math. Yep. Um, 
it, you know, if nothing else would have made you pay maybe a little bit more attention in math yeah. class. So. And, you know, you can find it now, and, and it's good that I had a, a background and a basic to even know what X and Y was, mm -hmm. and, you know, numerator and denominator or whatever, yep. and I got the basics, and I was able to go figure it out, and I, you know, I wouldn't be able to. But I think we all use math. We don't even, we just don't realize. I mean, we do. braking in your car, you're pre pressing the brakes, and there's a proportion and a distance, and, you know, you, you, your mind just processes it. Um, automatically, I think. Math so. is the common thread through any name, anything. It's the common thread that connects us all. Yeah. But we have the two locations. So our yeah, main location is those. in Fresno. Okay. And Bullard near Bullard Palm by Bullard High School. Okay. And then we have our second location out of Madeira Ranches. Madeira Ranches. Now, how can they find? Is there a website or something? There's a website, mathcrazy.net. Okay. You can check us out. We've been liked by a lot of wonderful clients of ours through the years so you can read their comments mm -hmm. and see what we do. You can call, can I give a number? Yes, please do. So you'll call 439-6700. You'll talk to my wife, Patricia, who's our manager. She answers right. She'll She's answer the, the answer. phone. That's great, yeah, the owner and, answer. Um, and you'll be able to talk to her and see if we can help you. Now, what about if you just want to bring your kid in and meet? Is there a cost Absolutely. or a fee? No cost. No it's free fee. to come in and ask. You can come in. We have what we have walk-ins. You know, mm -hmm. people walk in every week. Mm -hmm. uh, we prefer you call us up an appointment just so we can make sure we have make sure you're there. time set aside for you. But, but we're just open. to find out if you're a good fit and everything, bring the kid in and let's sit down come and just have a first meeting. Sure, absolutely, okay. love to do that. Math crazy now. Uh, mathcrazy.net, that's easy to remember. If you're watching this show and you're thinking, wow, i got to reach them, but you're at work and not supposed to be watching, you can't write it down, call us at Central Valley Talk if, if you need the number, and we'll put you in touch with them, mathcrazy.net, Tom Filer. Tom Filer. And if you Google math tutoring, we're like the first one that comes first up. First one that comes up. Okay, good, good. Get your kid math tutored. Thank you, Tom. I'm excited about this. You're welcome. This, so. Thank you. We'll be back with more Mike and Athena Live right after this. All right.